Today we will talk about neurulation. Neurulation is formation of neural tube. But before getting into that, we will do some recap. When a sperm fertilizes an egg, it forms a zygote. Zygote is one cell which will differentiate into a cluster of cells and reaches a stage modula. After the modular stage, the cell divides and forms a blastula having a cavity filled with fluid. After the blastula stage, it will reach the gastrula stage having ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm, the three germ layers. After the gastrulation stage, the neurulation occurs. So we will cut a section here in the gastrula to understand how the neurulation occurs. I am drawing here the trilaminar disc, ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm layers. The head side or the head forming side of the organism in the embryo is called cranial and the tail side is called the caudal side. Now we during gastrulation in the ectoderm primitive streak formation occurs. It goes from caudal side towards the cranial side and forms a cavity called primitive node. Now we will cut a section from the midway of the trilaminar disc. And look from the side view. This is the ectoderm layer of the trilamina. The primitive streak. is from this to this and forming a cavity called primitive node. And it occurs only in the ectoderm layer. This is the mesoderm and endoderm layers beneath the ectoderm. After formation of the primitive node, a canal like structure will form and go from caudal side to cranial side, forming a tube, and also goes backward towards the caudal side, pushing the cells back of the primitive streak and Thus, the primitive streak shortens. After that, the canal-like structure will solidify and form the notochord. Now, the notochord will induct the formation of neural groove if we see the formation of notochord in this structure the whole the primitive streak the primitive node and the notochordal canal is coming out and proceeding towards the cranial end and also backward to the caudal end and 
form the notochord cord beneath the ectoderm. Now if we flip the picture and look from the cranial side, it will be like this. Three layers, endoderm, mesoderm and ectoderm, primitive streak, primitive node and the notochord will come out towards the cranial end. It will look like this. Now we will cut a section here and understand the neurulation process after the formation of the notochord. This is the ectoderm layer and the notochord is present beneath the ectoderm layer. The notochord will induce the ectoderm layer to thicken and form the neural plate by the induction of the notochord the ectodermal cells will become columnar and thickened and form neural plate and this region cells will form neural crest cells and the side of the neural crest will remain the ectoderm These are the columnar cells formed by the induction of notochord. These are thickened tall cells forming the neural plate. Now this is the formation of neural plate. After the formation of neural plate, the second process is folding. By the induction of the notochord, a hinge will form between the neural plate which will fold the neural plate and gives an afflict. This is the first hinge formed in the neural cleft. This is called MHP or medial hinge point the neural plate is elevated a little and neural crest cell and ectoderm the next process is elevation the notochord remaining at the same position the neural plate will elevate keeping the hinge at the same position the neural plate is elevated and formed a neural groove these are the neural crest cells which are also elevated and came closer to each other while neural plate has formed a groove like structure After this, the fourth process is convergence. During this, two more hinge are visible. These hinges are positioned here and they are two in number. This is the second hinge found and it is called DLHP stands for 
dorsolateral hinge point and by this hinge point the crest will come closer and converge more and more the fifth process is closer where the groove is closed and the ectoderm which was situated outside has formed the upper layer and the neural crest cells have released and situated above the groove and the neural plate has attached at the upper point and formed the tube and the neural tube formation is complete and the crest cells will form the peripheral nervous systems and contribute to other nervous systems if we see an organism and this is the cranial side and the caudal side and the neural tube has formed like this if we see it in the trilamina it will look like this the neural tube formed now this was the primary neurulation there is also another process called secondary neurulation where a neural tube is formed towards the caudal side and attaches to the primary neural tube afterwards and how it occurs is <coughs> the ectoderm and the tail bud cells which are actually mesenchyme cells these cells will form a cluster and form a solid tube like structure this is called medullary cord or neural rod now after this it will form a cavity in between and forms a tube like structure and this is the secondary neural tube it forms in most in all the organisms near the caudal end but it is mostly prominent for the birds